this is an act of stupidity. It's called me replying to what went on this morning on the Facebook page. Because we found out that um, Vin has lied yet again, and that he's knocked the whore up for a third time, and that he's lied about it to me again, and he's lied about it to a few other people. And so um, I'm going to address the subject yet again, what a lying scumbag he is. The reason I got dragged back into it again is because, again, he lied to me again. Now, all these years I have waited patiently. All these years he has played these stupid games. He's had people keep me busy. He's paid people to rob my house. He's paid people to keep me sidetracked from the truth. And he tried to blame it off on Paul a couple of few times. Oh, more than a couple of few times. He tried to blame it off on Paul a number of times. Although Paul was actually in on it and helping him. So was Michelle Rodriguez. So, as I said, I'm addressing everything that was discussed this morning. And this morning, the biggest discussion was the fact that, again, catfishing ID pops up to call what we've put up over the last six years is to be rubbish. And yet it's the people's words themselves. It's Vin's words themselves. It's the stuff that's come out of his mouth on his Facebook page. It's the stuff that's come out of his mouth in articles. It's the stuff that's come out of his mouth in his, what's it called, Instagram page. And everything else that we've been able to clock over the years. And a lot of the time the reason it's up there is because I've commented on what he said and the things he's done to me. And as per usual, if I get it right, he doesn't say boo. If I get it half wrong, he corrects what I've got wrong. If I get it completely wrong, he does a haka boogie and complains left, right and centre. All of which have been documented, copied, pasted and stuck up on the website. That's why the website's there. So that he can't do his usual routine of after about five or six years changing the story to suit himself. Because he does that and the, all the older fans know what I'm talking about. Because they've had to see him do this. They've seen him do this where he changes his history while he's standing there talking to somebody and lies about what happened four or five years back. We've seen all the stories he's told, all the lies he's told, all the cover-ups he's done. My friends who are the ones who are helping me, because as I've said before, and I will say it again on camera, so you can see what I'm talking about, there are at least three admins who run the pages. I say the pages because I have my Facebook page that everybody sees, I have my new Facebook page in my new name because I got so tired of my old name, I changed it legally. And only a few people know what my new legal name is. And that's because I've had enough of this shit. I've had enough of Vin's hacking and his breaking and entering and his stalking and all those little paid lucky boys following me. And the page changed its name from Richie with the real Vin Diesel to what we've now got up nowadays, which is the main page, which is Vin Diesel and Paul Walker, how low they will go. Well, take a look at what's going on recently. The man is the lowest thing on the face of this planet. I was talking with a couple of people this morning, and we were discussing about how low he goes. Well, let's see, when Riddick, which he sunk Richie all his money into, um, to get ticket sales, he hyped on about the relationship between a man and his dog, and proceeded to tell stories about his dead dog to flog the film. So the story is about the third child now. We knew this was coming. We knew he was going to use his kids somehow. And this is it. This is going to be the start of all the hype about, oh, the third baby. Oh, wow, they're having a third child. Oh, wow, how wonderful. Oh, isn't Dom's character the same sort of thing in the new Fast and the Furious movie? And isn't he wonderful and isn't he marvellous and oh, 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 he's going to be a daddy for the third time. He can't even look after his first two kids that he's got with the whore. That doesn't count the other three that aren't with him in the whore. Although we do see occasionally the older of the three that aren't with him. And you've seen him, that's the one we all refer to as Isaiah. We're told his birthday is basically the year before the girls and is in the June. I got told a lot of things with Isaiah, which I will not comment on because I have no qualms with Isaiah. I have qualms with Vin and the whore that he lied to me about, cheated on with me, and all the other little bits of shit that he did and where that little slut is making my money that I've earned. Because I'm the one who made him rich. I'm the one who told him to do stuff. People think I don't know what I'm talking about until they actually find out what I actually did for a living. Because 
unlike the little fuckwits who are the fans who have no idea what the fuck they are talking about or what they're doing, I used to be a sound technician, a recording engineer, a lighting engineer. I used to do hair and makeup. I used to do costumes. I worked on theatre productions. I worked on TV programs. I worked on lots and lots of things in different ways. You know, whether I'm paid for it or not, different story again. Whether I'm famous for it or not, doesn't fucking matter. The fact is, I worked on it. I did it. I had the experience. I know what they fucking do. And I see everything that goes on. And I've seen everything that goes on. And that includes the lines of shit that come out of Vin's mouth. People think I'm joking when I, I make comments about his fans being mushrooms. I'm not. They're, this is Vin's fans to you. Kept in the dark and fed on fucking bullshit. Because that's all they are to him. As long as they make him money, they put bums in seats and they buy tickets and they put cash into his wallet, he'll tell them anything and everything. He's a cardboard cutout that stands there going like this. Hi, hi, to find it's a motorized piece of junk hiding behind a piece of glass. He's a con job. He's always been a con job. I've known this for years. I've known all the little other quirks from his sexual perversions through to his sexual tastes, being bisexual, and a lot of other things. It's only in the last five years that I actually started piping up about it because I started finding all the knives in my back where he lied to me and stabbed me in the back, where he cheated on me, where he broke his promises to me. This is not a hate page that I have up on the website, which some little moron seems to think. Same as they think the, the FB page is a hate page. It's not. It's an informative page to let everybody know just what a cunning little con artist cunt this man is. What a scumbag piece of shit he is. What links he will go to to make money. The lies he will tell. Which is why I pipe up every time when I was doing most of the page to turn around and say, oh, no, that's a lie. And, oh, look, he's hyping again. But then I left my friends to do that for a while. Because I'd had enough. That's why I put the video up saying I'd had enough. But this morning stuff and with what Ryan was telling me and everything else is why I decided to do this video. Why I decided to again remind people that the website is up and it's in everybody else's mouths and the words that have come out. It's the information that we found over the years. It's come out of Vin's mouth. It's off his Facebook page. It's off the discussion boards with the, they went bye-bye. It's all the truth. It's all what's come out over the years, and as new information comes to hand, I either will end up piping up and doing one of these things, which is a video to let you know that I'm not joking, and I'm telling the truth, and I've, we've called him out again, or alternatively, one of the others will put it up on the Facebook page. So, having said all that, and having again reminded people that Vin is a lying sack of shit, and he's never to be trusted, I'm going to place this one up on Facebook and also up on YouTube.